Konnichiwa, everybody. It's War, and it's time for more Samurai Champloo. I'll do a countdown. 3, 2, 1, go. Yeah, surprisingly, Samurai Shampoo wasn't uh, nearly as goofy. Or, uh, no, wait, that's not the right word. It is more serious than Cabo Bebop in one way, but also less goofy. I definitely didn't like it nearly as much as it, but I did enjoy it nonetheless. I mean, Bebop was also plenty philosophical, as was Space Dandy. The Space Dandy became much closer, though. Not just because I have a bias for space, I guess. Sci-fi. Also, Space Dandy had a musical episode. I mean, Samurai Champloo has some awesome music, but... Where's the musical episode, though? Hmm. Actually, they did have one, sort of. Yeah, and I'm giving it too much flack, huh? I mean, they had plenty of... just about musical episodes, with all the rapping and... awesomeness. Is this just a recap? It did just say last episode, though. One against two. Should be fun. Cycle of Death and Rebirth. Part two. He's super fast. His blade disappeared? What the hell? Or did he switch blades? Very defensive style. Oh, he's attacking a bit. He moves fast, yo. Very precise. Huh? Damn. <laughs> Oh, sneak attack they go. That is awesome. Mm -hmm. Yes, half chip though. Is it already do over? The hell? You faced our crew, you know? One down? He doesn't actually want to kill them? Mm hmm. Bro, 
her enough to chopping off her head, yo. Are they just playing with her? It's not over. You're giving up? Now, just taking your hostage. He had red pupils, so uh, that crazy guy, like a frog. Damn. All right, here we go, two on one. Why is he doing that with the water, huh? Magic, I tell ya. Uh -huh. well, he's just blowing air at them, what the hell? This guy knows ninjutsu, yo. Creeper. Oh, he's got something in his arm, huh? Right. His glasses got cracked. <laughs> I want to fight, damn it. We would want Mugen to come instead, for sure. She does like him after all. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I guess the church will suddenly island, huh? So where did that crazy guy go then, if not back to the island? Beat down church. And what did the centaur guy do to these guys anyways? Actually it's about Mugen. I guess it's about Mugen, uh, right? Yeah. Oh, he did. Yeah, I was wondering where he was going to go. But yeah, seeing class like that, uh, a ninja weapon. I'm not sure if they actually used it in real life, though, but. They both used the Mushu style. Oh, kind of similar thing happened in um, Kenshin. A sword style or sword school. Uh, they used to teach uh, a more peaceful way of fighting.
Oh, he gave the order. He must cut down something beautiful. Attacked him while he was sleeping. Damn. That was awesome. That's pretty fucked. Almost looked like a seppuku, yeah. I think Jane wants some revenge, yeah. Even though I didn't know until now. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Well, either attack or start rowing, dude. <laughs> this guy's a goner. Used them for what? Guess this guy's uh, kind of a good fighter, huh? Mm hmm. This is a big boat, y'all. Yeah. Mm uh hmm. Now look what you're done. Oh yeah, the glasses are just for show. I forget. Sure he's confident of himself. It's gonna be an underwater battle. This is crazy, yo. Ouch. Damn. I think he's done. This is crazy, yo. If only something could distract him. Final move. Just like in those old movies. 
Which one was it? Oh shit, I forgot that I turned that thing on, huh? Hopefully I don't get copyright struck. Gotta be careful these days. I think Jin got hit pretty badly, but he also took him out. But she'll never get the opportunity to talk to him then. Is it true that they have no scent? Oh, she remembered just now how what he looks like. That she did meet him. I guess she did meet him. Oh, don't do that. You got pretty badly hurt, huh? But he's still gonna kick their asses. I mean, he's killed people uh, in that state before. Did he get that hurt? I mean, he g did get, you know, a claw through his hand. He's got no bandage on it. I'm surprised he's not bleeding more. Oh, is it from the first episode? Wait, I would remember the crazy guy. Because he did cut a couple of people. Oh. Oh. Because I was going to say he cut off quite a couple of people's uh, legs. Huh? Uh -huh. Damn, that's accuracy, yo. He's got skills. He could take them on with their hand, his hands, surely. He's got a plan. Right. Everybody can't die this episode, can they? Spoken like a true badass. Will it be a happy ending?
Didn't Darth shout his hack at all, huh? Can't you just grab onto it? Looks like a handle on it. Then it's just a tug of war. So what of Jin, huh? Oh, is Jin dead? There was a lot of blood. Uh, rip. Kind of an anticlimactic death, if it is. This uh, is going to end up sort of a cliffhanger, isn't it? A bad cliffhanger. Or terrible situation. At least we got some groovy music. Well, that's the house they were talking about. Uh, she was told about. Is he there? No. Alright, nothing at the end. But he will return there shortly. Right. I have a feeling that Jin is still alive. Would he really leave him unfinished like that when he did explicitly said that he would go and kill them? Right. Sunflower guy. It's a cozy house though, on a cliff like that. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, I guess Mugen uh, might still fight him. But it's Fu dad, so Fu would be like, no, please don't. And Sunflower would accidentally kill her, maybe. That would be messed up. I do want them to have a happy ending together. Is that a thing that could happen? I feel like it's not that kind of show, though. <laughs> right? I feel like somebody is going to die. I mean, somebody's always dying in Samurai Champloo, right? But I mean, like, somebody from the main cast. At the very least. Uh, anyways, I'll watch the next episode right now. But if you enjoyed my reaction, I'll suggest to subscribe. And as always, there's early access available on Patreon. And you can also make me watch stuff there. And I'll see you guys next time, right? Peace.